Hi, well, welcome to the old geezer's diary. I'm Chris. It's, um, goodness me, I think it's the 29th today, isn't it? <laughs> Certainly nearly October, which is uh, not really a happy thought, is it, as the year goes by. I'm at Levington Marina, just uh, a few miles away from where we live. And uh, it is a place I've been to a lot in my life. I've sailed out of here a few times, well, quite a few times, actually. And... Um, Going back into the dim and distant past, I spent a couple of months on my boat here early one spring, waiting for the weather to settle down into proper springy weather so I could sail away for the rest of the year. But that's a long time ago. Um, but I still like the place because it's got the thing that I like most in a lot of the world in it, which is, of course, boats. I like boats a lot. And... Um, <laughs> If you're not aware of that, you're probably not aware of anything much about me, but there you go. Um, and have a look around, because here at Levington, they do every year, every October time, they have something called that they call their, their boats. Boats, and oh, that was funny. And... Um, Generally speaking, it's a good place to have a look round, And I, I still think I'm probably just about still young enough to have a boat for a couple of years. What I'd like to do is buy a little boat maybe and keep it maybe here or maybe on the broads or something and just have a few weekends or a few days here and there bobbing about because I like it. Um, <laughs> but there you go. Uh, I just thought I'd bring you out here anyway and, and enjoy the sights because it is very scenic, isn't it? Really, It's very pleasant. And uh, with a bit of luck, I shall now go out and have a little stroll, maybe take a few inches of video just to see what the world around here looks like. It's it's interesting. It's nice. And um, I always have a look and see what boats I think I can afford, and I know that I can't really. The trouble with buying boats in this day and age is you can still buy boats decently cheaply, really, quite a reasonable money. Um, but, of course, what happens then is you have to run them. And if you live where we live, um, Leamington is the nearest marina. There are other marinas on the river, but they all charge about the same. And if you have a relatively small boat, 23, 24 foot here, it's probably going to cost you the best part of two and a half to three thousand pounds a year to have it on one of these nice berths. Um, it's very, very pleasant. But, uh, in fact, it is very, very expensive. And I've got young Mike there. Hey, Mike, I can't bring you up on the screen. Can I? Can I? I'll try to. Um, goodness me. There we go. Show, it says. Are you there? Yes, you are. Mike, hi. How are you doing? Kept telling you about at Leamington because, in fact, I went out on one with you years ago and... Um, had an excellent day as i remember i think i was filming something about the east cell training thing as i recall but it is a long time so it uh, so it doesn't fall over a lot uh that well there mike it is really good to hear from you i have to tell you i'm, I'm delighted to hear from you uh and i hope you're doing all right and i hope you're getting up and about and getting out a bit uh let's see what else we've got here yeah, Mike. Oh, Mike. Hello, Mike. Goodness me. Sorry about that. <laughs> and there's a man up in Glasgow who's, um, I guess, I guess, Mike, in fact, or oh, Malcolm, rather, sorry. I guess, Malcolm, you are, in fact, what they call a mature student up there, aren't you, really? Um, at Nautical College in, uh, that's the one, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that, I got sidetracked. So it's nice to hear from you, Malcolm. I hope you're doing fantastically well and enjoying your course, and I hope you're not too locked down up there in Glasgow. What a dreadful thought. And I hope if you happen to see um, my young friend up there, give him my best regards as well. Um, so there you go. So there's two people I know at Glasgow um, Nautical College uh, doing their initial starting their first year's training and of course they're having all sorts of trouble aren't they in glasgow i hope you're doing well both of you uh you young Ma malcolm and young ibbotson himself i hope he's doing well as well so what what have mike got to say 
Oh, he's doing well. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it, Mike. I'm delighted. I was quite worried about you at one point because you weren't doing that well, were you? Um, but you're you're doing well now, and I'm glad to hear it. And I was filming the Blind Sailors Championships, and that was excellent. That was a really, really interesting thing to film. I have to say, the only drawback, Mike and Malcolm and any others, is that the reality is, of course, that sitting here at the marina you do tend to get sidetracked by uh, what's going on out there and it's um nothing very fascinating but uh, i enjoy it and i look around and see the boats i'd like to buy next <laughs> i must say i'm i'm just uh, parked along um on the downstream uh, side of the marina and Right underneath my nose, there's a beautiful little Cornish shrimper, and and I have to tell you, I fancy one of those because it does, it does things that I like. Cornish shrimpers, they also have um, a mast in a tabernacle, uh, and it's also, of course, a gaffer's. So it does mean, a the mast is short in the first place, and b the mast comes down in its tabernacle relatively quickly and easily. So I have to say, I fancy one of those. Quite a lot. Let's get rid of young Malcolm. Um, oh, get rid of young Mike. Sorry about that. Um, so there you have it. It's really a lovely place to be. I'll show you a bit more because I like it so much. It is probably the, one of the nicest bits of scenery around where I live. That is that little shrimper. If anyone's got 20 grand they want to give to some poor old geezer, to spend on something interesting, um, then that would do me jolly well. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, right, we've got a bit more here. Let's go to... Ah, who's that? Oh, right, I'm near your brother's oyster. My goodness, oysters. Now, that's someone who spent 10 bob on a boat, isn't it, Mike, I think? Uh, but they are lovely yachts. My goodness, some of them, beautiful. Um, and, of course, oyster... Now, am I right in thinking that Oyster now own um, the Marina at Ipswich? I'm not entirely sure. I know they've got a yard there, or they did have a yard there. And uh, you're doing well then, Malcolm. I'm delighted to hear that. And young Mr. Ibbotson. <laughs> Half my regards on to young Mr. Ibbotson if we happen to meet. Well, I hope you do. Um, are you getting out there, I wonder? That is the big question I have to ask you, Malcolm, is... Um, can you get to the pub? I don't know. <laughs> but it's interesting. What else have we got here? Uh, my goodness. Is that that one? Oh, wow, Mike. That's, I can, uh, I can remember getting off that boat um, onto an inflatable. That was quite exciting, really. Um, I didn't particularly think I was going to drown, but I think it was um, fun to do. Uh, but now I think I'm a bit bloody past it, to be honest with you. That's the only issue, I guess, is that um, I guess, in honesty, I don't know whether I'm up for scrambling about on boats. And to be honest with you, I think the boat I would want would be reasonably small. Um, ah, that's some, oh, unless they do, don't they? You're right. Um, is it Fairline who are up at Ipswich Marina then? I think it must be them then. It's one of the big builders, wasn't it? Um, oh, not that one. All right, heavens, me, me, ah, oh, my neck is gone. Sorry about that, Mike. <laughs> I'm having a, a very entertaining time today. As I'm delighted you've all joined me, it's lovely to see you all, and I hope you're all doing well. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, am I going to buy a boat this year? Well, I have to tell you, actually, I came very close to buying a boat last year up on the broad so i nearly bought a little viking 20 motor cruiser um in reality i'm sort of halfway glad that i didn't because of course the broads were locked down for a long time boats or recreational boats were locked locked down for a long time and um i do tend to wonder whether it was um it would have been a good idea so there you have it the other thing about on the broads as far as that's concerned is uh if you go on the broads um you know, since the lockdown ended, yeah, I think it's been mental up there. I've filmed up there a bit, and the number of um, 
wild and exciting things that seem to happen up there. I say no more. <laughs> if you don't want your boat to get scratches and bruises, then it's not necessarily a good place to do. But as for season, I have to say, I think the broads are lovely. Um, and I've always fancied owning a boat at Beckles. Never done it, but maybe maybe it's not too late. I wonder what I think. I don't know, really. I think if something interesting came up, then who knows? But there you have it. Who knows? Who knows about the future in general, the way we're living at the moment? I have to say, it's time I went, I think. But the reality is that uh, it is lovely to see all you guys out there. Lovely to hear from you. I'm glad you're all doing good. I'm especially glad that my good friend Mike is doing well and um, keeping himself busy then and having enough time to tell me interesting stuff. And um, I'll see you all when I see you. I hope I'll see you all soon. Mind how you go. Don't overdo things. And uh, as I twiddle about with my twiddly device, I can say thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon. Have a great couple of days. And I'll be back.